what is up everybody welcome back to the eclectic beard gaming your reactions gonna give you another video that's a little bit different than most of the other ones uh, this go around and be uh, giving you all some common southern words and phrases um, now I am from Alabama I live in South Carolina I've lived in Georgia I've lived in Florida most of these are ubiquitous to all of them doesn't matter now all of Every state has kind of their own variations on some of these, and they've actually, some of these, some states have their own phrases that you hear it, and it's like, do what? What'd you say? I didn't catch that. Well, what the hell does that mean? Before we go any further, like, subscribe, notification bell. All right, so the first one is y'all. Now, y'all, it's more than one person, so if you're asking some, somebody about themselves and their family or themselves and their, you know, their wife or self and their kids you know or it's more than one person but like how y'all doing you know that that would yeah how y'all doing that that's referring to more than one person that's basically a shortened version of you all uh another one is uh, pig in slop or pig in mud so like Man, you see him the other day at that football at the football game. Boy, he's like a pig in mud. Well, he's happier than a pig in mud, or he's happier than a pig in slop, wasn't he? Watching his team win. That, that's somebody that's extremely, extremely happy over uh, either what they're doing or what they're seeing. Just they're enjoying life in general at that moment. So um, that's something you hear from time to time. But you'll normally hear a variation of that. Across all southern states in some form or another. Happier than either a pig and slop or, um, you know, some some kind of variation of that. Um, this might be kind of, I'm going to give you two variations of the next one. Uh, this is to either how slippery something is, uh, like how, how, how slippery something is, or maybe how somebody operates. Uh, like if they're, like a car salesman or something like that you know how they can be greasy and stuff but uh they can be quick talking um good lord watch out where you're walking at it's it's slicker it's slicker uh owl shit out there which means you, you slip fall hurt yourself you, it's it's very it's slippery so slicker now shit that's one or it's slicker than ill shit i grew up in uh gulf coast alabama and well, you take and go outside and you, you know, it's just, if it's, if it's slick outside from it raining or it's icy or something like that, if there's a spot where you might take and slip and fall, boy, watch out, it's slicker nail shit over there. That's another one. Here in the South, we don't start our cars, we crank our cars. You crank them. Hey, go outside and crank the car up real quick. Another one is the good Lord's willing in the creek don't rise. So if it's raining a whole lot, back in the old days, that was that was a major concern. Even some places around here, if it if it rains a whole lot, the creek can rise and the water take and cover your road, and it'd be hard to get out if you can at all, depending on uh if it's the only way in and out. So yeah, if the good Lord's willing and the creek don't rise, or if the Lord's willing and the creek uh, the creek don't rise. You don't tell somebody you're going somewhere, like you're you're going either one town over, or you're taking and going up the road to the store. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna run over yonder real quick and uh, see so and so. I'm I'm gonna take and run over yonder. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up a roll of duct uh, duct tape. So over yonder, it's it could be right up the road. It could be like if I'm going to Columbia. Yeah, I'm going up, I'm I'm going up yonder to to the capital and. Taking go look at the uh, going taking the kids to the zoo. Every soft drink for the most part is Coke. Doesn't matter Mountain Dew, Dr Pepper, Pepsi it's Coke. Shine right moonshine so that white lightning that we're drinking on, uh, which is uh, illegal corn liquor. Uh, why it's illegal I don't know. You should be able to take and make stuff yourself you can home brew and you can make mead but you can't take and distill because well i guess they got they get kind of pissed off still if they can't tax your liquor 
The other thing is, like, I don't know if it, it's the same way, same way where y'all where, where y'all are, but here, you don't turn you don't turn your lights or your air conditioner on or off. You don't turn them on or off. You cut them. Hey, cut them lights on. Hey, cut that cut the AC down. It's getting cold in here. So it's it's cut them off. Normally, you know, seems like you tell somebody to switch it on or off. Same thing with the AC and other things. One of the things <laughs> people have brought to my attention is to take in. Look, I'm from Alabama. One of the biggest things that I said down there, at least when I was growing up, I don't know if it's still that way because I had not I haven't lived there in almost, uh, I haven't lived there in, damn, a decade. Take in, like, I'm going to take and do this. Uh, you know, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to get, the, I'm going to get in the truck. I'm going to take and go down there to the, to the grocery store real quick. I'm going to get me a couple, I'm going to take and get me a couple hot dogs and some uh, hamburger meat. I'm going to have, I'm going to take and have myself a cookout tonight. Take in, you, you're going to take in and do stuff. Uh, same thing with uh, fixing to. Now, fixing to, a lot of times, it's just run together. If somebody's going to spell it, it's just fixing to. Those are put together, fixing to. Yeah, I'm, I'm fixing to go to the store real quick. Need anything? You're, you're about to do something, basically. You're, you're about to do something. Fixing to. Blister your hide. So you're, you're going to, you got kids and they're, they're kind of acting up. All right, now, y'all quiet down there. I'm going to blister your hide. You, don't, you keep on acting that way. So you, you about to spank them is what's about to happen. You about to spank them. Bless your heart. Now bless your heart sounds like it's always being so sweet. Hey, or a lot of especially for a lot of Southern women, people. Oh, there she's being so sweet. She said bless their heart. She just called you dumber than a box of rocks, more than likely. Just saying, just saying. Bless your heart. As nine times out of ten. Normally, it, the uh, it's the, the bless your heart is proceeded proceeded with something uh, with something that's very unkind, uh, and it's done in a way that like it's it's like they told you to go to hell, but they give you the directions. So they exactly tell you directly to go to hell. They just give you the directions there. You'll figure it out once you get there. Oh, <laughs> you're slow as a snail in the uh, <clears throat> you're slow. As <laughs> You're slower than a than a snail on a winter day, aren't you? Bless your heart. You, you know, something like that. It's not very nice whenever you get whenever you hear the bless your heart normal, uh, normally. Every a lot of times, and especially with the older generation, it's starting to fall off. But you, you be in a store and you hear an old you, you hear an older gentleman taking call a lady sweetie or darling. It, it's just that's just the way they talk, sweetie, darling. Uh, it's you know the the chivalrous part, I guess. Kids are youngins. All right, you young and settle down now. It's just kids. Another thing is, if you uh, you go to the grocery store, shopping cart. Man, we, we don't have shopping carts. We got buggies. Hey, go get me a buggy real quick. We're going to get a couple of 12 packs for the party tonight. Somebody's very upset. They're throwing a hissy fit. Oh, good Lord. He took and stayed out too uh, too late drinking last night. Now she's done. She's having a hissy fit. Y'all watch out. I'll take and do this again at some point in time. That's all I'm gonna take and give y'all for today. I hope everybody enjoyed this. Y'all all have a lovely one. Peace. <laughs>